Good morning everyone. Uh, just a quick how-to video today for how to change your front counter shaft sprocket. Uh, it's going to be off a 2003 DR650. The tools you're going to need, a pair of pliers to remove the pin on the rear axle bolt to adjust the slack on your chain, a ratchet, I like using an extension to get to the bolts off the cover, 8 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, and a 24 millimeter socket for the rear axle. Your torque wrenches if you actually care to torque anything on your bike. And today, my brother's bike didn't come with a door on his airbox, so I cut one out of a sheet of aluminum to fit the box itself. It's gonna fit right there. So let's get started. And also gonna need a grinder or anything to shave the metal off the retainer clip on the front counter shaft sprocket because uh, it's too big if you go down to 14 tooth. Okay, so first step is to take the three 8 millimeter bolts off the front sprocket cover. I've already loosened by enough, so I'm gonna take these off. Okay, once you've taken the three bolts, one up here, down here, and right by the foot peg, you can slide the cover out. Those are the three 10 millimeter bolts that you need to remove to take the retainer clip off. You're gonna be also tossing the seal out because it doesn't fit with the new setup with the 14 tooth. So to remove these, uh, the easiest way I found is to uh, have an assistant. If you can't, uh, find a way to hit the rear brake so that the front counter shaft sprocket doesn't spin. They're only torqued at 11 foot-pound of torques at the front, or should be, so it doesn't take a great deal of effort to remove them. Once you've removed the three 10 millimeter bolts off the retainer clip, slide it sideways. And remove it. And this seal's not gonna, gonna go back on because it's too big with the 14 tooth uh, setup at the front. Uh, slide the sprocket off the counter shaft. Remove the sprocket. Now the new sprocket's a GT sprocket. The model number's a JTF 437.14 because we have a 520 pitch chain. It's been converted from a 525 stock chain to a 520. So make sure you get the right sprocket for your application. So to make the retainer fit so the chain clears the lip here, you have to shave almost all of that lip off the retainer clip and then the clearance will be good. Okay, retainer clip is back in. Now there's uh, at least a one to two millimeter gap all the way around, so the chain doesn't hit. All you gotta do now is reinstall the three 10 millimeter bolts and the torque setting or uh, recommendation from the manufacturer is 11 foot pound of torque. So I'm going to put these back on and don't forget to Loctite them so that they don't come out.
Blue Loctite is strong enough for these ones. You don't need their red one. Usually their red is only used for uh, engine rebuilds. Okay, the three bolts are back onto the front countershaft sprocket and the retainer clips back in place and there's plenty of clearance. Just have to put the cover back on. Once the three bolts are reinstalled, the three eight millimeter bolts, you're done with the front. Now you just have to deal with the extra slack you have on your chain. So depending on the model in the year, uh, this one has a cotter pin and a bolt or you might have a lock nut on there I mean a nut so take the pin out loosen this up adjust your chain slack on the DR650 the manufacturer recommendation is 1.2 to 1.8 inch so adjust your chain tighten that back up it's 72.5 foot-pound of torque put the pin back in and we're done